Hello, today I will show you how my sister and I made these fairy wings. I didn't record making the first pair because I wanted to get it figured out how making them was before I added filming. They are blue heart. But anyway, I would first like to say thank you to Aubrey for her fairy wing tutorial because it really helped us out a lot. We wouldn't have been able to make these without it. So you might be wondering why I'm even making this video then, if there already is one. Well, we made our wings a little bit differently, and mostly just because I felt like it, okay? The materials we use in this video are 14 gauge wire, foil tape, wire cutters, cellophane, spray adhesive, bubble wrap, and Bethany. <laughs> Before you begin making your fairy wings, you want to figure out how you want them to look. I looked at a lot of other people's fairy wings first to get an idea, but soon I realized what I really wanted was cicada wings. Because I really, I just really like cicada wings. So I saved a picture and I squashed it to make the wings less long. I was worried if they were too long, it'd be too difficult to maneuver around. We then began sketching the design of some big paper that we taped together. We didn't follow the initial design, but simplified it as we started bending and attaching the wire. But after we made the first set of wings and figured out how we wanted them to be, we actually traced those wings on the second set of taped paper so that we would just go off of that design in the future. Anyway, we made the, the very top and the bottom wire of the large wing design extend out about one foot from the wing because we're going to use that later to make the attachy part to wear it. All the wires were attached with foil tape. And here we are attaching the perfect piece that I formed so perfectly that it just... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I taped the paper. Oh, okay. It's so perfectly formed. It lines up exactly <laughs> with the paper drawing. You can't even believe it because it's too perfect for this world. This is what the big wing looks like when it's all done. Thumbs up for Bethany for doing half the work. Now to do the little wing. We only use one extra large wire for the top bit. I didn't think it needed the bottom and the top. It just seemed like too much. But anyway, this is the little wing all done. And repeat for the other set, the, other, the left side or the right side. And once all the veins of the wings are created, we decide to paint them because the metal look wasn't what we were going for. And after it was all painted, we hung them on the ceiling fan to dry. Once the wings are all dry, we take them outside to attach the cellophane. Because the spray glue to attach it needs to be in a ventilated area. So in the garage, I sweep the floor so that it doesn't get garbage all over the wings. And then Bethany laid down the cellophane and taped each side down to make sure it was really taut. Then we laid the wings to see how they would look on, like where to put, lay them down. Then using the super duper adhesive, I sprayed the cellophane to death, then quickly laid the wings back down because this glue dries really fast. Then spraying it with glue again, we get more cellophane to lay on top of it and smooth it out with our hands so that it looks good okay yes and after we have the wings all completely smoothed out we cut them out with about one inch extra film around the edges after we cut them all out i decided to see how the cellophane looks on the camera lens and it looks so beautiful i was planning on using the cellophane again on the camera lens for when we do pictures and, and like the, the glamour shots at the end, but I completely forgot. Oh my goodness, myself. Back upstairs is now time for a super smoothing technique, which is just an iron in the towel. We tried just laying the towel on the wing and ironing over that, 
because since we couldn't see what we were ironing, we couldn't get into the crevices, and so it wasn't really doing anything. So we wrapped the towel around the iron and did it that way, and that worked really good. Once the wings were all ironed, I got a little fire to seal the edges. At first I thought, um, I don't need to seal the edges. We ironed and glued it, like it's gotta be super duper sealed now. But then this happened on our first pair of wings. You can see it started to come apart. I was like, oof, I gotta seal this up. And then as I was trying to do that, I burned a hole in it, but that's okay because I burned another hole on the other side to match. Burning the edges is near impossible not to mess up. Actually, I am not convinced it's possible at all to, to do it perfectly. Um, and I don't know what else to say about that. <laughs> the fire has a mind of its own. Now I'm attaching the little wings to the bottom of the big wings with foil tape. When it looks good, I then put the wings like this so I can attach them together with more foil tape. I really kind of guesstimated how long to make it and then I wrapped it tightly with bubble wrap to make sure it wouldn't be stabby. One little wire decided to be a butthole and stabbed through the bubble wrap, but I snipped him and wrapped him up with an extra bit of bubble wrap for good measure. Then I bend it into the U shape off camera to be annoying and lastly, Wrap some fabric around the bubble wrap and finish each side off a little bow to keep the fabric in place. And hooray, it's all done. So here I am tying it on with the corset that I made. I'm surprised how light they feel. Like they don't actually feel like they exist at all on your back. And they just feel magical, I guess. <laughs> Until I need to walk down a hallway and then I just have to be really careful so I don't bang into things and it's like <sighs> besides that it is very I'm, I'm impressed how well they turned out so me and my sister wore these fairy wings to our church's trunk or treat I think they liked our fairy wings because they told us that they liked our fairy wings okay that's the end of this video let me know if you enjoyed it at all okay now I'm gonna say goodbye I don't know why I'm being really weird now. Okay, bye.